In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom thumbnail for a file on a Mac. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi, and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so recently one of my subscribers asked me how to make a custom thumbnail for her exported movie on her Mac, and I told her. But then I thought, why don't I make a video to show the rest of you how to do it too? So here we go. So this is what I'm talking about. You have a QuickTime or an MPEG-4 movie on your desktop, and you don't like the thumbnail that Mac has chosen for you. And you'd like to change it to something a little more representative of your clip, like so. So this is how you do it. First, double click on the file itself and scrub through it until you find the frame that you want to use as your new thumbnail. When you find it, hit Command C and it'll copy it. Then close the movie. Then right click or control click on the file down by the name and select Get Info from the menu. And in the upper left of that info window, you'll see this little QuickTime icon to the left of your file name. Click on it once so it has this little blue line around it. Now hit Command V and you should see a change to your new copied frame, your new desired thumbnail. Now close out of info and voila, you should see the new thumbnail on your video on your desktop. And just FYI, this will work for other files too, like pages, documents, numbers, files, etc. Cool, right? <laughs> All right, let's do a quick tip. So now you know how to change your thumbnail by using a frame from your video. But did you know that you don't have to use a frame from your video? You can use just about anything. Say a PNG or a screen grab or basically anything that you can copy really. So for example, here's the actual thumbnail that I made in Photoshop for this video. It doesn't exist within my video anywhere. I created it in Photoshop. So to make this the new thumbnail, I can open it, Command C to copy it, Bring up the Get Info window, and in Get Info, I can make it the new Photoshop created thumbnail. Ah, much better. Or if I want to get all artsy, I can even screen grab, say, a corner of my desktop, open and copy that, and make my thumbnail a cool artsy design. But let's not get carried away. So give your QuickTime some extra flair today with a custom, custom thumbnail. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.